All right, I was getting ready to just watch this video messing around on the internet, and I figured why not bring you guys along for the ride and set up shop. So today I am checking out Bill Burr makes the host on Good Day New York uncomfortable. Okay, now I haven't seen this yet. This will be the first time I'm checking it out. I don't even know if it's funny, uh, but so far everything I've seen from Bill Burr is funny. If not, it will at least be entertaining. Uh, before we get into it, please like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you can stay up to date with my latest videos by liking this video that lets me know that you want me to check out more content from Bill Burr. Let's go. Ten episodes are available to binge watch. Bill Burr, welcome to Good Day New York. How are you? Thank All you right. for having me. Well, the, the, the show is so funny. I mean, I'm just, is, is it based on your real life or is it, you know? Yeah, no, no, it's definitely based on my, my life, but it's, uh, Frank is the character that I play. Uh, he's an amalgam of kind of everybody's dad in the writer's room. And it's, he's an old school dad. Like when I was a kid, you were like afraid of your dad. Like he pulled in the driveway, he'd come in the front door, we'd all run out the back right, door. Right, wait till your father comes home, yes. right? Yes. Wow, yeah. <laughs> I have one son um, that he's definitely not afraid of me, but I can, you know, let him know a little bit that I'm the, I can make him feel my presence, you know. Absolutely. So um, it's more of that era. It's not this, you know, era now where your kids are like friends with their dad. I was like afraid of my dad. <laughs> not in a bad way. Like I just knew that, you know, when he came home that that... Things you, were gonna flop. Yes, your behavior. We used to shut the TV off and like pick up books, pretending to be like <laughs> reading. And uh, I remember you used to like, you know, if he was in church, he had like the loudest snap. And if you guys were talking too loud, he just bam like that, and everybody just shut up. And then you knew you were gonna get it later. He so. family, wow. you didn't get it. You know, it's fun. You get on stage, you talk about topics that are kind of taboo, but you make them really, really funny. So your Christian background is is part of the the show. Or yes, and I episodes. wanted to talk to you about Jesus after this. Well, I, <laughs> no, the only reason why I bring it up is some people thought maybe you went a little too far. You know, as far you, as what? Well, they thought that maybe you were being disrespectful to the Christian religion. Uh oh. So, I'm telling you, you need to Google. <laughs> oh, good Lord. So did you that's, feel that's you were being something. disrespectful or just you, you were just having fun with some of the crucifixes and stuff like that? I don't even know what you, I mean, we did maybe two jokes was, about that. Yeah, exactly. Don't you think the Catholic Church went a little too far? <laughs> <laughs> More so than my cartoon. Right. Oh, bombshell. Listen, a couple of jokes. I know this is a morning show. You can't bring up all those crimes. You know what? Technically, they just, they just sort of kept moving them around. <laughs> You know, like those killer whales at SeaWorld, after it kills a trainer, they'll then move it up to Seattle. They don't give them oh, their background. Oh, my goodness. This is gold. Hold on. <laughs> More so than my cartoon. Nobody talks about this. All right, listen. Not on the news. A couple of jokes. I know this is a morning show. You can't bring up all those crimes. You know what? Technically. They just, they just sort of kept moving them around. <laughs> you know, like those killer whales at SeaWorld, after it kills a trainer, they'll then move it up to Seattle. They don't give them their background. All right, I'm not totally following, <laughs> but uh, I don't think... I bet you're not. I know I what I'm to. talking about. It's a morning show. I understand. I, like, Eight times I came on. Positive. That kid positive. was Mr. Graduate. Hey, you got him twinkling their toes over here. <laughs> He's getting nervous. Totally following, <laughs> but uh, I don't think I want to. You know what I'm to. talking about. It's a morning show. I understand. I like, Eight times I came on. Positive. That kid positive. was Mr. Daytime TV. <laughs> uh, that's a... Uh, uh, read between the lines for please change the subject. This is daytime TV. Uh, but no, you didn't set Bill off. Let's go. Totally following, <laughs> but uh, I don't think you know I want to. You know what I'm to. talking about? It's a morning show. I understand. I like, daytime TV. I came on. Positive. That kid positive. was missed the graduation, and then, then the, it was a feel good it was, story. It was a feel good, and we want to leave. If you want to feel good about America, you watch the morning shows. You don't watch this, you know. If, and watch. We were joking earlier. If that kid's story about the graduation was late night, that would have been a whole different story. What do you think? He's still missing. We can't <laughs> find him. All we found was his hat. But you watch in the morning. It's great. It all worked out. He got his own personal graduation. Like, I was in such a great mood. Look how yellow this couch is. It's like the sun. Wow. So, F is for family. I mean, it's really... He is so good in these uncomfortable moments, and he relishes in it, okay? And these guys are like, who the hell? What did we just do, okay? You know, he's going to get chewed out by his boss. Uh, politically incorrect before politically incorrect was even a term. Yeah, and I think, you know, a lot of... Of that stuff. What you were saying earlier, you talk about taboo subjects. It's like, I don't, nothing I really talk about. It's not, it's not that people aren't talking about all of this stuff. It's just that um, it's sort of a, a way that people talk when they get on a stage or something like that. But it's not like, you know, people... People, they laugh because they're, they're already talking about it. So it's not that big a deal. We all have dark thoughts sometimes, but you go there in public and you do it, 
even though it's edgy, kind of make it safe in a way? Yeah, well, what's going to happen? I'm just talking. I mean, it's not right. like I'm not doing anything insane. I will tell you, though, I did stand up here two shows last night, and I cannot believe New York crowds now. Why? It is so like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh they were? They would do I that during their yeah, show? Yeah, I know. I remember when I moved here in 94, it was like, you remember Alphabet City, you were taking your life in your hands, and it was like junkies and stuff like that, so it was just really like a lot harder than to like even like impress people, and now, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Are you saying that New York is liberal? I, Again, the good old days. Yeah. Anyway. You know, what? they don't even call it Alphabet City anymore. You know that? They call it like the Lower East Side. Things, gentrification, oh, whatever. Was, was that offensive to illiterate people? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. This town has changed. At the Right on the spot, man. The dude's a genius. Our family, obviously, Netflix and the people who watch it love your show. Uh, were we able to find a clip that we could clean no, up? No, we got something. We got you something. Found we something. got something. Wow. We got something. Check it out. Is this just the intro song? Uh, I gotta watch this hamburger show. assistant again. Why can't mom make dinner? Ask her. She's the one who abandoned her post. Now, after doing all the lady work, I gotta leave to go do some man work. And is anybody gonna get me flowers and tell me I'm beautiful? No! No one's out there marching for old Frank Murphy. He just watches the sands of his miserable life gather at his feet while his wife, the modern woman, throws on a pantsuit every morning and just... <laughs> There's my worker, B. Oh. <laughs> this guy really speaks to me. Uh, good stuff, Bill. It's oh, a little thank you. Archie Bunkerish, a little, right? Yes. Yeah, it's, well, I mean, it is that time. And when we did, like, the 70s, we wanted it to look like how I remember the 70s, where Hollywood kind of always makes it look like everybody had a lava lamp and dressed like Ron Burgundy. Oh, yeah. This is more like the uh, sort of Rust Belt Serpico 70s. <laughs> like, you know, anytime you see a movie about, like, the 70s, everybody has a car from the 70s. It was like, there was, you know, people didn't have money. They didn't have a car from the 60s. So if you look, there's a lot of... Uh, that's one of my favorite things to like pick out what car they're gonna have like frank drives like an old like ford galaxy-esque type car before that's a great attention to detail for the show before ford comes you know, at us you know, for money you're right the movies from the seven they overdo it they all overdo it when they're going retro right well they make it seem like like when the pacer came out like everybody thought that that was a good looking car it was a weird car with the big window yeah my me and my mother looked at it that is the ugliest piece of you know what I've ever seen in my life but they made it seem like everybody in the 70s had like a lava lamp and thought that that was a good looking car so Bill do you google yourself because I was like googling the, the show no. God knows I was googling the show I get trashed enough on Twitter you, what, do you know when I did the show last night this is how like, like the Millennials are right somebody uh, I was wearing this exact same thing you know I'm on the road so I got a nice <laughs> stain on my shirt so I was wearing this exact same thing I go on Twitter and somebody wrote uh, you know, Bill Burr last night dressed like, like an out of shape Jerry Seinfeld. What? So wow. like, yeah, I wrote back. I can't say what I wrote back. I wrote back. <laughs> you, you did? You so and so. Yeah, it's like, why don't you heckle me when you're there? But yeah. why would you yeah. even everybody, respond on Everybody Twitter. is sassy online. This Not in your face. Sassy. What? Exactly. This is New York. Back in the day, I would walk on stage. Someone would have said that, and I would have had to fight my way out of it, and it would have been a tough set. And this person's just, everything's like so covert now. Right. I feel oh. bad because, by the way, you're ripped. Huh? You know, you're in pretty good no. shape. But, but why <laughs> respond to somebody who's being negative to you on on Twitter? Because it's fun. <laughs> I like going back and forth, and then you can use. I love the raw honesty, and it, it, it's no hesitation because it's fun. That's why. You're right. Negative to you on on Twitter. Because it's fun. <laughs> I like going back and forth, and then you can usually, well, the, the, uh, this is my deal. If you actually have a picture of yourself, then I'll go back and forth. But if you just have, like, the little egg thing there, yeah. <laughs> like those, in, you know, two followers, then those people, it's like, you just came up with an account or whatever, to tr or you just go around trash people. To me, that's like a cowardly thing. But, like, you know, if I can see you, you know, and you're out of shape, or maybe, you're, you know, you're ugly or something like that, I'll go right for it. I'll get real childish. <laughs> Growing up, by the way, with the mother or the hairbrush and the dad, yeah, uh, where was that? Where'd you uh, grow up? I grew up outside uh, Boston, Massachusetts. The safe suburbs of Boston, Massachusetts. Because ever since Goodwill Hunting, everybody thinks, you know, you grew up in Southie and you stole cars and you ask people about Apple. They overdid it. Everything I know about uh, Boston is from Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> Boston. Dude, didn't they? Yeah. Let me ask you about your Christian background. No, no, they didn't, nobody overdid Southie back then. Like, I'm just saying I was not that, you know. Mm -hmm. I was more of a you know, cul-de-sac street hockey playing kid. Bill Burr, F head like is the for moon. family. There you go. F <laughs> is for family on Netflix out right now. He'd be a little more uh, comfortable if he threw some trash around the studio, right? He misses the old New York, and you're not the only I one. I want to meet those religious people that got upset, and I want to quiz them oh, on their gee. religion. All right, we'll talk about why did I bring that up. Bill, <laughs> why did
did you bring it up? I'm sorry. It's a morning show. It's not, this is supposed to no, be no, an no. easy one. You know what happens? At nine o'clock, it all becomes daytime. So oh, you got okay. more license. Bill Burr, thank you. Thank you for having me. Right, Listen, I don't even watch that show, but I guarantee you that's probably the best episode they've ever had. Okay, <laughs> that was that was straight gold, and uh, he, I just love I, who who would talk or heckle bill burr okay he's like the king of the guy you don't want to heckle at any comedy show all right but this was funny this was entertaining guys if you like it don't forget to like the video subscribe hit the notification bell that way you can stay up to date with my latest videos hope you guys have a great day peace